Hey boys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Beer Pro. Where, you know, we're still struggling. It's 16 spot. Um, and actually, yeah, right there, New South Wales. Uh, they actually won the State of Origin in my career mode here. So, you know, a bit, a bit unrealistic, I guess you'd say. But uh, good stuff by New South Wales. Doing well on the game. But we're up against the Dragons, who I totally forgot to look where they were on the ladder. Um... I'm sure, I'm sure when I watch this video again, I'll be like, I think they're going pretty good. I think they're in the top eight. Uh, Dragons have a pretty good side, pretty decent. Um, it's crazy to think that this year they're actually on top of the ladder at some stage. You know, I, they were like going, they do have a decent side, but I didn't think they were like top four side. And right there actually, so uh, again, it's raining <laughs> annoyingly. Um, but I think it might've been Parker. I don't know who it was, but he... Popped a little pass to us, and it was just, you know, if I caught it, I could have been away, but unfortunately, wet conditions, it was a tough one, and I put it down, and then right here, we have to come up with some massive defense after letting Frizzell, I think it was, run straight around us, but we do, we did make the tackle, make a couple of try savers, and then all of a sudden, Josh Dugan from dummy half, just too hard to defend this close to the line. I mean, Maguire, just no eyes for the ball, just straight out. Looking, looking at the totally wrong person. You, know, you got to keep your eye on the ball. You can't take your eyes off it that close to the line. And he left me just with too much work to do. No way I was going to stop Dugan that close one-on-one. -on -one. And so, yeah, bit of my mistake, I guess, with the drop pass. But it was, you know, we're coming 16th. You know, Mozzle try those risky plays. There's nothing really riding on it. But once again, like I said at the start, it is raining again, I've got to say. It is a little bit annoying. Oh, okay. So there's clips in here. I just, I, the boys are just, they've lost their heads. End of the season. I think they just want to go on their end of season trip. Go on Mad Monday. I mean, they're just all over the shop this game. Uh, that was ridiculous. But so once again, we're defending. But yeah, it's raining again. And that's the one thing. I've said it before, but this game looks so damn good um, during the daytime and clear skies. But it's like programmed into the game to be like constantly uh, rainy weather, which is a shame because it looks so damn good when it's sunny or even just nighttime clear skies. So I, I wish they would like patch that a little bit because I'm sick of the rain, dude. <laughs> I guess they're trying to show off the, like the changing weather conditions and that's cool. But yeah, the the like um, the clear the clear weather is where it's at. It just looks so good. I mean, when you play it like those like any sort of like smaller ground during the daytime it looks amazing but yeah so we're not out of this game but it's been it's been tough we've had to do a lot of defense and the dragons are going to get one last chance here on half time and they put up the bomb and unfortunately it's going to be to mahe for Nua, and he out he out leaps i think it might have been copley out there i think so i didn't actually check the teams it might be who was that? Could be Maranza. I don't know. I don't know who was on our team. The teams change like every week, so I I don't even keep up with it anymore. Uh, but yeah, they do score just before half time, so bit of a shame. Uh, but the Dragons, for some reason, throwing it around. 20 seconds to go, so we're going to get one last chance to do something. And I decided just to go for the bomb. I could have gone for a field goal looking back, but, you know, 10 points down. Could have made it 9 points. If they were 12 points in front, I probably would have gone for field goal, but Seamill's only 10, I just didn't bother. You know, we're not out of the game, but it's going to be tough. Scoring two tries in a half is pretty difficult. And we got the win this half, but unfortunately it's going to the left, so that kick, although it's a really good kick, it didn't quite go out. And, you know, doing more good kick returns, that's pretty much been our game. As of late, just good kick returns. Not much we can do. <laughs> just throwing around silly. One too many passes. Gives the Dragons another opportunity to mount some pressure and extend their lead. So we needed to be the first uh, to score this this half. But it is not going to happen with the retiring Dan Hunt. Um, everyone's favorite actor. Crashing over for the third try of the game. All coming the way of the Dragons. Just too good for us at this stage we haven't really looked like scoring we haven't really had any opportunities yeah it's just it's just been all dragons really 
And that's the one thing the Dragons have done, is they haven't been kicking to me. Every last tackle they've been kicking to Vito's wing, or the other winger. I think it, I don't know who it is. <laughs> but yeah, they keep, keep kicking it to Vito's wing. Just keep me out of the game. It's, you know, it's smart because our kick returns are usually set us up and right there. I just tried the little inside pass. And it was one of those times where I didn't actually call for the ball, but he passed like this massive pass to me. The dragons were up in my face and I just wanted to get rid of it and unfortunately hit the deck and uh, teammate didn't quite bend down and pick it up, but it was my fault. We do send our winger away there. And he gets a, a nice offload away. And we could have been away, but a good covering tackle there. But yeah, once again, we're going to be defending our line. Just just no attacking ball. We, Every time we've looked decently like we're going to mount a bit of a comeback, it's been like a forward pass or a drop drop catch. And the Dragons, you know, they've just been rolling through. And So right there, like, watch that again. Like, I thought that was pretty slick. Apparently, it was a knock-on. Um... Maybe the one back on the inside, what went forward. I'm not too sure. It, it sort of looked like it went back, but I don't, <laughs> this is going to be the fourth try uh, to Benji Marshall. I don't even know where I was going, but I've got to say, like, what were the rest of the boys doing? That's like a, that's a team failure right there. So, yeah, this has been an awful game. Just awful. 22-0. And that is going to, yeah, that's the end. That's the end. <laughs> There's no comeback. One minute to go. And once again, not kicking it to me. Uh, just, they kept me out of the game pretty much all, all game. Nothing I could really do. Yeah, just a pretty frustrating game for me at the back. You know, terrible conditions. And I, I tried to, I guess, 40-20 there. I don't know what I was trying to do. But that is going to be the end to a very disappointing game against the Dragons. And our poor season continues um, with Mitch Rain getting man of the match. 34% possession, that is awful. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you next time.